Hey, what is up guys, MG and Eddie here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can root your Android phone, which is running on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 or Cyanogen Mod 13. We have two methods here. The first one is straightforward and much easier than the second method, but the second one is much more advanced than the first method and much more effective than the first method. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions relating any of the processes, you can comment right below in the comment section and I will reply as soon as possible. Like the video if I helped you and subscribe if you want to receive more videos on Android, tricks and tips, hacks and uh, other stuffs. Yes, come on, let's begin. The first method is much more easier. It can be done in 10 to 15 seconds, that's all. First of all, going to your settings, Android settings, and there go to about phone, scroll down, and you will find build number. Build number. You need to tap 7 to 8 times on the build number until you unlock developer options. After unlocking the developer options, go to developer options tab and scroll down, and you will get something like root, root permission, or something like that. There, select the fourth option which is nothing but app and ADB. That's all. Your phone is rooted now. You're done. But some of the users will require much advanced routing permission, root permission, like super user. Because some of the applications will not work if you give the root permission from this inbuilt root of Marshmallow. So here we go with the second method. For this method, I'm gonna be assuming you have custom recovery flash to your phone like TWRP or CWM, it doesn't matter. If you have not done this, go ahead and do this first. What I can suggest is, you can google it or you can go to your respected mobile forum. If you have Eureka, go to Eureka forum, if you have Nexus, go to Nexus forum, you can search there, you will get all the information regarding flashing because it, need, it needs much time for me to explain the flashing procedure. But I'm gonna be giving you a brief uh, procedure about that. Okay, let me say I have Eureka phone and I'm gonna be flashing CWM recovery to it. Okay, let's do it. First of all, I'm gonna be switching off my phone and then I'm gonna be connecting my phone to my laptop by pressing volume up button because I need to go to fast boot mode. After connecting the phone to the laptop or the PC, the phone will be in fast boot mode. After that, I'm gonna be downloading the files which are required for flashing and I'm going to open the folder I'm going to press control button in my keyboard and right click button in my mouse I'm going to open uh, what is called command window and after that you need to place you need to paste a couple of codes there which are required for the flashing purpose after pasting the code flashing process will be done within seconds and uh, the custom recovery will be installed to your phone after that, you can just disconnect the phone and uh, restart your phone we have done this what you can do next is I just uh, reboot your phone to recovery. No, wait. First of all, uh, you should have that folder in your phone because you are going to flash that file, right? Go ahead and uh, look the description of the video below and download the same file, same file that I have given in the description below. If not, the phone may go to boot loop mode. It will be like a soft bit phone. So go ahead and, and look out the description for the link and download the file. After that, place the file in any suitable location of your phone, either in internal memory or external memory. It doesn't matter. Just uh, reboot your phone to recovery. You can do it in uh, two to three ways. The first way is uh, directly rebooting it to recovery using your phone settings. Otherwise, you can switch off the phone and press all the three buttons, volume up, volume button and power. You will be taken into recovery. I am in uh, CWM recovery now. I am going to install super user binaries. I am going to flash it. Uh, going to the location where you have downloaded the and kept the file. I am going to locate it in my CWM recovery. You can do it by volume keys and power button with the use of them. Uh, it is in uh, my internal storage downloads. Yes, I got it. Now I am going to press install it or flash it. The flashing will begin and it, it may take 5 to 10 seconds or even 1 minute. After the flashing is completed, just go ahead and uh, restart your phone, reboot your phone. Uh, it will ask you for fixed route. You can give any of the options, but I'm preferring uh, no. Okay, let the phone reboot. Yes, we're done now. 
after the phone reboots it will be having one more application which is installed on your phone which is nothing but the super user or the super so application and now i'm going to be confirming if i have the root access from super user or not i have a root checker app in my phone i'm going to open it and click start check as you can see that i'm getting the pop-up for the permission i'm going to grant it i have granted the permission and you can see there congratulations your phone has root access that's all that's all that's all we have done now and uh, please make a note that you download the latest version of super user which is given in the description of the video below if you don't do that your phone will go to boot loop mode this is 100 percent sure thank you for watching if you have any questions regarding any of the processes you can comment below as i said before and you can follow us on Facebook so that uh, you will be updated with each and everything daily. Subscribe if you want to watch more. Have a good day.